Hey everyone, so this is going to be my day in the life with an 11 month old and I'm actually doing it on his actual 11 month birthday um, because I just feel like that sh um, should be the day that I document and um, I'm in my bathroom because he needs to sleep but that should be the day I document so that I can remember his month birthday celebrations and, and all that. So that being said, it is now the 17th at night and it is 11, about 11 o'clock and Phoenix went down to sleep at 10.30 as usual and let's cross our fingers that he sleeps, um, sleeps long. <laughs> um, I have to actually film his 11 month update and tell you all about his sleeping. <laughs> It's been good up until this week, so we'll see. So tomorrow should be interesting because my husband is at work. It'll be his fourth day of work. Um, this is his first week, so it'll also be interesting to see uh, because it'll be a day in the life with my 11-month-old um, by myself because my husband's at work and normally he's with us. Um, so yeah, so I'm about to probably go to sleep because the past two nights he has been waking up and I've been tired so um, and now that my husband's working what we, what we have done is changed our schedule and as soon as Phoenix goes to sleep we kind of go to sleep so that's what I'm going to do and I will see you guys when he wakes up which is hopefully 6 o'clock the earliest. <laughs> see you guys later. So it is 3.30 in the morning right now Phoenix will go at two, and um, I went to grab him, and immediately he would just put his head on my shoulder and fell right back to sleep. But however, he was soaked. Um, he had peed through his pajamas, and thankfully it wasn't on his mattress or his bed. I don't know. His diaper wasn't full, but the whole side of him was wet. I have no idea. I, some days these diapers work and sometimes they don't. Um, I don't know. So he's fell back to sleep on my shoulder yet I had to change him. So I'm like in the dark trying to find his pajamas and change him which will obviously woke him up and he was not happy about that. So now I'm trying to keep him quiet while I change him um, so that my husband doesn't wake up. He has to work in the morning. So I take him out to the living room which isn't easy and I change him and he's just not having it and he's crying and he's just fussing and then he's calm and then he's fussing and then he's throwing his pacifier on the floor, throwing the bird clip on the floor, grabbing my face, um, grabbing my hair, like just like he just looks frustrated and um, I don't like to feed him right away because that just gives into the habit and makes it like, okay, well, he, he knows he wakes up and he gets fed. I know he's not hungry. He had 10 plus ounces right before bed, which was just a few hours ago. So I know he's not hungry. I mean, he goes longer hours not eating. So I try not to feed him right away, which would be the easy way. <laughs> But I try not to, so I gave him some water, and that calmed him down for a little bit, and then he, like, started coughing and choking that up, and spit up all for me, and then, oh, I can't even think. So, at 3, at 3.15, I finally realized I'm just going to give him a bottle, because yesterday, at around that time, I gave him a bottle, and he slept until 10. So, I, I'm just hoping and praying that that's going to be the same case today. So, I just gave him a bottle and he was tossing and moving. And lately, when he falls asleep, he's just very irritable. Like, he, he tosses and turns a lot. Like, he doesn't just fall asleep in my hands anymore. He's like in my arms, and then he'll like go onto the pillow and then move and move his head off the pillow. And then just till he finds a spot and then stops and then he falls asleep. So that's what he did on the couch, and then I had to wait another like 10 minutes just to make sure he was asleep, and then just put him in his crib. So fingers crossed that he doesn't wake up until 10. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore. He only has one nap. Um, 
on. I've done everything and anything anybody has ever suggested, so, and nothing. I think he's just not a nighttime sleeper. I, I don't, I don't know. I, you know, I've changed up his bath time routines. I've changed up his bedtime routines. I've tired him out. He only has one nap a day. Um, I don't know what else to do, so I'm just going to have to deal with it at this point because I, you name it, I've tried it, so what am I going to do? So I'm going to go back to sleep and hopefully he does not wake up again. It's so hard because now my husband's working and I don't want him to wake him up, you know, I'm not trying to be considerate. So I try to take him out to the living room, but all his toys are there, and even though it's dark, he kind of sees them, um, but he's still not really aware of them, like he looks at them every so often, but in a few months, he's going to be big enough to really, you know, realize, okay, let's play, you know, two nights ago, I stood up and I put Mickey Mouse on for him, because I, I didn't know what else to do, and I waited till five, and then I fed him, and he knocked right out, so, I mean, the milk is the only thing that puts him to sleep, but... I know he's not hungry and he doesn't need that bottle so I don't know it's it's just crazy but I gotta do what I gotta do so I'm gonna go to bed and I'll talk to you guys later this is how he wakes me up every day So I just changed his diaper and he was a little wet so I had to change his pants. Um, it was like a little wet on the top because when I changed his diaper last night, I put him in a regular diaper, not a nighttime diaper and I guess it was beyond the full. What? 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 Uh, mm, mm. So, uh, I have Chris George on. I'm just going to lounge here for a little bit until I fully wake up. <laughs> right? We're going to lay here a little bit as much as possible because he starts getting crazy. What happened? Hey. Uh, uh. <laughs> Good morning. Who's 11 months today? <gasps> Who's 11 months today? You are. Oh. <laughs> Happy 11 months, baby. Oh, goodness. You're always trying to get me. You're always trying to get me. So it's 9.30 and uh, it's time for us to get up. I thought he was going to lay back down because he looked tired, but it uh, doesn't look like it. So I'm going to get up. I'm going to clean this up, clean up the room. And I have the TV on for him while I brush my teeth and um, do all that. So he'll stay here for a bit. Sometimes I have to take him in the bathroom with me and leave him on the floor because he starts crying in here, but he seems to be okay for now, so that's what I'm going to do now. Are you jumping? Are you jumping? Good morning. So, Phoenix seems like he's uh, being entertained, um, standing in his crib watching TV. So I'm going to take advantage and tidy up the bathroom and the room, um, like vacuum it, dust it, you know, as quickly as possible um, and see how long he gives me before he um, wants to get out of there. So that's what I'm about to do. I have my vacuum. I love this thing. I need to do a review on it. Um, for, I use this for the floors and my dusting. I have, you know, I have to go get my Windex and all that. And I already picked out his clothes for today, so this is going to be his his outfit for his 11 months. And um, 
I got a sticker and his thing for his pictures. Um, um, my and my husband left for work at about. I think he left at seven. Um, he gives me a kiss in the morning goodbye, and I barely remember it. Today, I actually did remember it because I remember hearing his alarm and, and nudging him. But the past few days, I had I've never even noticed. I'm like, did you kiss me? And he's like, yeah. So we'll see. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna start with the bathroom because if he doesn't see me in the room, he's better. Um, if he sees me for a while in here, then he'll be like, all right, mom, take me out of here. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom and tidy up in there. Hi, Bubba. I'll give you a good boy. <laughs> okay, so Phoenix still seems to be okay. Wow, I rushed through that. I really just needed to like vacuum and dust a little bit. Nothing crazy. Um, I vacuum it every day uh, just about and stuff so just kind of needed to tidy up so I'm gonna now do that to the living room while he's still um, okay in there start by opening the blinds Now I'm just gonna tidy up this a little bit um, and dust, you know, the TV and the lamps. And I hear him, so let me go check on him. I might have to bring him out here. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, do you have a poopy bud? Yeah, I think it's time for mommy to change your butt. Alright, so I'm going to change him instead and then I'll take him to the living room and let him play while I clean up in there. You going to change your butt? Look at that big mess. Who made this big mess? Alright, let's change your bum. Come on. So now I'll put him here. I'll put Disney Junior on and he'll play for a bit while I um, clean up. And I forgot to mention he had uh, a bottle earlier, four ounces, because when he woke up he just seemed a little hungry, so I gave him four ounces. So he won't eat breakfast now till about 12. If not, he probably would have ate around 10-ish. It all depends on when he wakes up in the middle of the night, when he... It all depends on that. So um, today, most of the time it's around the same times, so even though he'll eat earlier, he'll still eat around 10 um, but since I gave him the four ounces, he should be good till 12, but we'll see. You reading a book? Bear takes a trip. Bear takes a trip. <laughs> oh, I hate this TV. It always tells me no signal. Like, my husband put it so that I could just turn everything on, and somehow I never do it right. Yeah. Mommy's still having trouble, Bubba. Oh, there it is. So let's. I'm in the kitchen cleaning up and I hear a big tumble. And it's this. It goes right here. He threw it all the way over here. He's starting these little tantrum things where he wants to throw everything. No, that's not how we play with this. I'm going to take it away. It's not how we play with it. it goes right there. Hey, that's not very nice. It's not very nice, buddy. So I finished up the living room quickly for the most part, and now I'm just organizing the kitchen. I gotta do these dishes, put these dishes away. I'm baking cupcakes today instead of a cake because, let me show you, on, okay, you guys. Because for his birthday, I'm going to bake the cupcakes for his party. So I want to test out my technique, which tip I'm going to use, exactly how I'm going to do it. So I want to do that with um, this batch so that I already have an idea for next month and I don't have to like waste time on that. So I'm just, I just bought a small box though because it's almost, uh, 
of 12 so this is pretty cool it just makes 12 instead of having 24 cupcakes um, and them going to waste and then what I did is I have these here and I used two of these these are the ones I'm gonna use for his party so I just use two of them because I just want to see how they look with the actual cupcake in it if they look good you know sometimes when you make the cupcakes the liners kind of look weird I don't know if that happens to anybody but I just want to make sure it's gonna look good so I have my piping thing here to see what design not design like what how I'm gonna put the frosting how is it gonna look and look at this what are you doing in there what are you doing in there you're gonna hurt yourself yeah and I just purchased this I don't know how it is but hopefully it's good you just put the cupcake mix in here or the pancake mix or you know you can use it for different things and then you just squeeze and it releases the right amount each time so I'm also gonna try this out to see because I want all the cupcakes to look the same you know I don't want them to be um you know you know when you do it yourself and they're not all the same so hopefully this works so this way makes it so much easier for next month when I have to make probably a hundred cupcakes um, I have about 80 people invited so I'll probably make about a hundred or I don't know uh, it depends on how the box because normally um, the regular box makes 24 cupcakes so I'll, I'll do it like that but so now I have to move this little guy and I have to wait to bake the cupcakes because I realize that the stove gets, I mean, yeah, the stove gets, the oven gets hot. So now that he's mobile, I either have to put him in his playpen or wait till he naps. But I think I'm going to prepare everything now, um, have it all ready. And then when he naps, I'll put it in the oven and decorate them and all that. So this is what I'm doing now, and I have to put these two boxes away. Um, I leave them here. This is all his birthday stuff. Um, but since we're having people over, I'll just move them to the room for now. And it is 10.45. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Huh? Can you clap? Phoenix, hey, Phoenix, you not bothered? Oh, and look, now he crawls on all fours all the time. He doesn't do his belly thing anymore. What did you find? Oh, give me. Mama just vacuumed this. I guess she didn't do a good job. Hi. Hi. I love you. Oh, what happened? Now that Dada's not here, he's always saying Dada throughout the day. I think he realizes that he's not here. Where's Dada? Daddy? Where's Daddy? Are you thinking about it? Are you thinking about it? Yeah? What? Oh, what else? Yeah, what else? Crazy kid. Someone's a little crabby. I don't know. He was trying to. I was in the kitchen and he's trying to pull, pull up on me. He's getting frustrated because I wasn't carrying him. Looking for his pacifier. Where's your passy? Where's your passy? Because we have so many and somehow we always misplace them. We got to do a, a passy search again every so often. I tell my husband, all right, passy search. And we have to go. Look everywhere and find it. Where did you put it? Did you come out here with it? Where'd it go? Yep, it's definitely time for a passy search. Cause how do we only have that one? Come on, let's look for your passy. Play over here. Where did he put it? He had it. Oh, Phoenix, where'd you put it? I have no idea where he put it. But look, look what he did while I was cleaning up. 
I don't know where he put it. I'm going to search the room again because he had it this morning. Well, not this morning, like 15 minutes ago. Oh, which if I look under here, I'll find like a whole bunch of them. Oh, let's see. Help me look, guys. Oh, there's another toy for when he's a year.